integer n can be written or seen as x, y, or as multiple like 23 or 46, and and x is the tenth digit and y is the unit digit. That's pretty simple, but the real x y can be seen as this, but in reality it's this. 10x plus y because if you see it 23 23 10x of the tens digit is uh, 10 times the tens digit is 20 and just the unit digit is 23 is 3 so that equals 23 or the actual number so the actual number is equal to 10 10 times its tens digit and 1 times its unit digit so the number we can, as we found here, is equal to 10x plus y. And, and what else we have is um, p to n. And what is p to n? It's the product of the digits. And that's simple. We have the tens digit and the units digit. What is their product? x, y. Or just multiply. And it also says that it's added to the sum of the digits and that's easy it's also it's it's just x plus y that's the sum of the di digits is as simple as that we don't have to worry about anything else and x y the sum of the digits, digits is x, just x plus y and we see this in our example right here product two times three is six and the sum two plus three is five so we reread it as this, and here we have is here we have is a solvable equation. Ten x plus y is equal to x y plus x plus y, and we didn't do anything special. We just rewrote x y, and we found well, what we really have x y plus x plus y. So we have it right here, and it's pr pretty easy to solve. It's just nine x plus is equal to x y. And we divide x on both sides, y is equal to 9. So if y is equal to 9, what, is, or what are we looking for? What is the unit digit of the integer n? The unit digit is right here. It's y. And we already have y solved. It's 9. So that means the solution is 9 or 